Okay, so let's go ahead and um, start modeling the next piece. So we're going to go ahead and reuse a face from this. So I think I added this in the previous part, but in case not, I uh, delete that. So what we're going to do is again, we're going to use this mesh as our base for the next part. And um, as you've seen, we've done it in the previous part, and we're going to carry on doing that. So the pieces that we, um, the new pieces that we create, will have, uh, they will basically nicely line up with the rest of the pieces. Okay. Otherwise, if you want to do it differently, you might not get um, a nice line up with the different pieces of the case. Um, or anyway, this is the easiest way that I found um, to do this. So let's go ahead and um, add in a face. And let me just tear this off. Uh, so let's go ahead and add in an edge loop around here. And let's go ahead and uh, double click this face and then go to duplicate face. And then again, let's go ahead and delete the history and then get these two guys out of the group and delete that node. Okay. And now there's a face that we're going to go ahead and extrude. Now you could also go ahead and duplicate the front faces off, but you might have uh, more issues with that. So again, this is a case of experimenting and so on. So let's go ahead and just do this because this is probably the easiest way. So let's go ahead and extrude this and go into a front view and then add in there a bit of a thickness. Ooh, not that much. So let me just scroll down here and make sure that my slider is on low. And let's go ahead and slide this where we need it. And let me just zoom in a little bit. Okay, so probably around there. Okay, so this is what we're going to use for the mesh. So let's go ahead and go into a side view, turn on X-ray and let me get rid of this so we've got more space. Okay. And let's go ahead and actually select the loop and just move it a bit more so um, it's easier to select it and we might not be able to. Ooh. Okay, so select all the inverts on the top and same on the bottom, holding down shift. Okay, and let's go ahead and drag this to where this line is and then hit scale and straighten this out okay and also what we're going to do while we're here is we're going to go ahead and make a new um we're going to go ahead and make a new layer but first let's select this two pieces of mesh and then click this button to add it so we can go ahead and hide it okay so let's go ahead and reselect all of these and let's go ahead and drag this to where this line is so now that we have this, all we got to do is basically um, create this curve. So I'm not sure if you can see it on the reference, but this is where that um, mesh ends. And we basically need to make this cut here, okay? So the way we're going to go ahead and do this is we're just going to go ahead and move these verts. So let's go ahead and um, move this. So first of all, Let's go ahead and add in an extra loop here. So insert edge around there. So roughly in the peak of this corner. And then let's go ahead and select all of these and start pushing this back. Okay. It looks pretty good. Also, let's go ahead and delete one half of this. So let's go back to our object face, select all of these and delete that and go back into a side view. Okay. And this way it's easier to see what we're doing. So once we have that, uh, once we have this work lined up, I'm just going to select everything, but not that one and start pushing this back as well. So as you can see here, we have a little bit of an issue where these two verts don't line up and that might cause us a little bit of an issue later on. And if you're confused why that is happening is because um, these edges that we added here are not straight, they're at an angle. But what we can go ahead and do is we can always go ahead and uh, line these up. So I'm just gonna select this vert and select the axes and I hit V and snap into that one. So now they all line up. Also, probably go ahead and do it with this. We'll see if we need to or not. So once we have that, as you can see, um, these do line up now. So let's go ahead and select the next slot. Or actually select all of these. Um, 
like so. And let's go ahead and push this back a bit more, probably all the way where we need it. Okay, so this is where this is meant to be sitting. And let's go ahead and add in a loop here. And as you can see, this is going to go all the way around now, and that's not what we need for this piece. So let's go ahead and undo that. And what we're going to do here is we'll probably go ahead and push these two back. Or probably just the bottom one. And as you can see, these two guys don't line up. So let's go ahead and line them up. So grab this one. And this time we're going to go ahead and snap this one down. That might cause us issues here. So we'll probably do it the other way around. Let's just go ahead and see how this will smooth roughly it doesn't really cause us any issues um so that but i think instead we'll actually snap it up because as you can see this face will be now at a sort of an angle so instead of snapping this um down if i undo that we'll go ahead and snap this one up instead okay and uh, let's go ahead and move this up same with this, just move a bit up. Okay, we can also go ahead and delete all these faces here because we don't need them at the moment. Okay, so let's go back to X-Ray and let's go ahead and move this where, where it needs to be, somewhere there. <coughs> and I have to go ahead and move some stuff down here. We could... Um, let me just think how we should do this, or what's the best way of doing this. Could probably move this back where it needs to be. And um, let's just snap it. And we'll go ahead and make a edge loop here. That will, um, instead of going all the way down across here, um, well actually we will need a loop there anyway. So let's just go ahead and do that for now. Um, and then we'll figure it out later if, if it's fine or not. So let's just go ahead and add that. And no, that won't work. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, delete that and we'll go ahead and add loop in here later on uh, to sort that out. Let's just go ahead and sort out the bottom corner or the bottom half for now. So again, select all inverts and make sure that they line up here. So I'm just going to snap it there and then select add a loop here. Okay, and let's go ahead and start pushing these back. So I should be fine there and select these, push them back. And again, we get this issue here where the um, verts don't exactly line up so let's go ahead and sort that one out so I'm gonna select the inner one because that's not gonna be seen and snap that there now let's go ahead and grab all of these and probably push them back all the way and again let's go ahead and sort this out so I'm just gonna select that but Snap it down there. And let's go ahead and move this guy down. Same with this guy. It doesn't really matter for the inside because it's not going to be seen. That's why I'm moving down the um, inside one, okay? Come back, sorry about that. Had a little bit of a crash. So now that we've sorted that out, let's go ahead and see how that's looking. Go into a side view again. Okay, and this roughly lines up now. Now, as you can see, um, it doesn't line up with our reference, but that's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and sort it out in a bit. So let's go ahead and select all these words and just scale them down a little bit. Okay, and we'll again need to add in a little corner here, but apart from that, that looks fine. So again, as you can see, um, because our reference is on a bit of a wonk, um, this corner doesn't really line up. But we're not going to worry about that one too much. So all I'm going to do is I'm um, just going to select these two. Move them up a little bit. Okay, and that should be pretty good for us. So 
after we have this sort of side uh, roughly blocked out, as you notice on the top, we're also going to have to go ahead and uh, cut this in because this one is a different panel. So let's go ahead and start doing that now. So we'll probably just use a simple way of doing this. We're just going to go ahead and control right click and go to we need to find our tool if I find it maybe shift right click yeah it's shift right click split and then split polygon tool and we're gonna start here and start um, moving down now if you notice <coughs> obviously our reference doesn't line up at all so before we go ahead and do this is we're gonna go ahead and just move the actual reference instead of moving the mesh a little bit so let's go select our top reference image and go to image plane and center it should be our center Z and we're gonna go ahead and push this roughly where it needs to be okay so I'm just trying to line this bit up and also if you notice our top is here I think it's that face, let's just make sure. Yep. So we only really interested um, in this shape. So all I need is um, to follow a corner. So I'm not really worried about scale for now. So I'm just gonna go back to my image plane and go back to center Z. And I'm gonna move it roughly. So I'm, again, I'm just eyeballing this. So I'm just trying to line this up roughly in the center of the mesh. So probably around there I should do it. And then go back to our object and shift right click split, um, split polygon tool. And I'm just gonna click drag on the edges that we want to cut. Okay, and there it is. So once we have that, we can go ahead and select these faces and delete them. So now if we have a look at our object, we got that cut. So you're also gonna have to go ahead and um, cut this uh, bottom plane. So let's go ahead and do that. So again, go back to shift, right click, split polygon tool. And I'm holding down V to snap with the vert of the top plane. Okay, so again, same process as before. This time we're cutting this bottom plane and there, okay. So now we should be able to go ahead and delete them. And it seems like we did not cut that. So let's go ahead and do that again, <coughs> but this time in perspective. So shift to our click split, split polygon tool. Okay. And it seems like we can't snap, but that's fine. I'm just going to go ahead and um, start clicking away here. And then we'll go ahead and line these up later. So there we go, we've made the cut. Let's go into our top view. And as you can see, those are the edges that we just made. So let's go into vertex mode. And now we're just going to go ahead and snap them to the top. Okay. So now I'm snapping that that to that and now we can go ahead and delete it and it will be the exact same cut there we go so we cut in the top half as well which is pretty good and probably I think this is all that we're going to do for this part and in the next part we're going to go ahead and do some final touches to this possibly adding the supporting edges and mirror it over um, so we have this piece finished okay so I'll see you guys in the next part